Hello, thanks for joining me for another reviews. I will do three reviews in this video, um, all from the same brewery that we've done on our recent Good Beer Live, which you may have seen on the channel. Um, it's only the second one I've actually done. Not very. Uh, sometimes it's like a confidence thing doing live these live things for me. Um, and yeah, I, I let Rob and Jake do them because they do a much better job. That's just me. Right, so F episode 17, we were taking a look at the uh, Double uh, Barreled Brewery, and they're out of Reading in Surrey. And the first beer we looked at was Place at the Table, a Norwegian table beer coming in at 3.3% ABV. Lovely looking can there. This is a collaboration with Duration. And yeah, 3.3% ABV then. The hops in this are Citra and hop extract and the malts are golden promise golden naked oats wheat dextrin as well as dex dextrin malt so and then the yeast is voss kirk i'm not i'm gonna butcher this up i know um they say it's the hottest new centuries old on a bit of research centuries old beer yeast you've you've never heard of so definitely there for generations, Norwegian brewers have been quietly passing down the yeast that ferment their unique character, characterful farmhouse ales between family and friends. But now that a few yeast labs have begun collecting, propagate, uh, propagating and selling the yeast, American brewers are catching on to what has been known in Norway for centuries. This stuff can make some fantastic beer. So. There you go, 440ml can, best before the 18th of August. So the beer has been out the glass of all these three beers for a, about an hour or so, so it's lost quite a lot of, uh, just to put that out there, because I've had uh, people saying, oh that looks flat, and it's like, well yeah, it's been it's been out the can or the bottle for a while, so yeah, it's still a bit lively, so I'll pull the rest in, so it's hazy as you'd expect. Let's get a quick aroma then. Yeah, a very kind of delicate citrus aroma. Orange peel. Yeah, smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. Lovely refreshing brew. This is my first beers from this brewery. They've got a tap room. I put all the links down below for their the website. Honest Brew, of course. Check out that down below. Um, GBL10. Uh, spend twenty-nine pounds and get ten pounds off. New customers only. Also check out. Uh, by the time you see this, it may have passed, but as of today and certainly this week. I'm reviewing these beers on the 29th of March. They had a spring sale of up to 30% off. It may be on, it, it may be not, depending on when you view this video. But back to this beer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a light kind of pineapple, kind of very light, of course. Lovely kind of, yeah, orange peel, slightly dry, slightly piffy. Even obviously the ABV is super crushable. Um, great summertime beer, I'd say. Really do like the table beers. Um, low ABV, but quite high in in flavour. Um, really tasty beer. Uh, there's, there's a slight hint of like a hop oil kind of thing going on there, oily. Um, yeah, nice brew. In terms of a rating, then. Um, I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10, so a 3.25 out of 5 on the untapped scale. Over to untapped then. Uh, this beer, it's only been around since the 19th of February of 2019. Uh, it's had 145 ratings, actual ratings coming in at 3.63, so pretty damn good there. That's pretty high for a, uh, a table beer, because a lot of people drink a table beer, oh, ABV, etc. Um, so yeah. Let me just get the, the, the next two pages up, because I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can. So, number two. From the same brewery, then. 
and while I'm here I will get rid of that, get rid of that and get the last one up because I'm all prepared you know and there we go so the next beer we done was par Park A uh, Paolo 4.5% ABV I love the uh, logo really pretty damn cool so hops in this then are uh, Cascade, Centennial and Citra dry hopped uh, the malts are extra pale malt, golden naked oats and a couple of yeasts here uh, Windsor and S04 allergens, barley, oats, gluten, suitable for vegans uh, same best before date 18th of August of 2019 uh, any other thing here 440ml can two UK units and all that all that bloody blah so yeah nice looking can so again thanks to Honest Brew here's what's left from earlier try and get a bit of uh, uh, got a bit left in the can so it might liven up a little bit there we go nice so it's yeah it's hazy but I mean compared to the I mean, that's the table beer it's not quite as hazy as the table beer which is like wow this is a 4.5 parallel and this is a table beer well it's the other way round in my limited experience but yeah, it's getting a Roman then on this one so if, it's actually oh, I'm looking at the wrong one that's why so yeah, no IBUs listed for this. Very muted. Light citrus, but very low. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Although I've tried these beers, I can't actually... But sometimes I've been nerve... I get nerve-wracked when I'm doing the, uh, the life thing, and it's just... I can't remember it. So let's do it properly. Cheers. Yeah, very kind of there's there's an earthiness to it. Where it's that that's the the two strains of the British style yeast or not? I don't know. Slightly yeah, slightly earthy, slightly dry. Underlying the actual flavour, which is. More of a kind of a, there's a slight kind of, slight sherbet edge, only a little bit. Yeah, lemon, lemon peel, lemon pith. Again, slight oily, grassy kind of notes. Not bad not bad it's a fairly new is it a fairly new beer oh it's been out since the 18th of September of 2018 so obviously they've done a few batches of this it's a fairly new brewery um, by all accounts let me just uh, I think it's, was it last year round and round and round we go so they've been around on untapped since the 31st of october of 2015 which i didn't know uh, they're based in reading started from a garage um specializing in sour stouts with a few pails thrown in for good measure um 15 bbl brew kit on site weekend tap room and 12 keg lines so yeah um it's some, certainly something i'm interested in going to in the next few months for sure um, back to this beer. Yeah, it's very light. 4.5. I think I actually prefer flavour wise, profile, and everything. I think I actually prefer the table beer over this, which is. Which is, for me, I, I don't know. I, I'm really starting to like my table beers. Nice earthiness to it, though. I do like it. And I'll definitely buy it again if I saw it out and about. Especially on tap, I'd like to try it on tap just to see see where I am with it. But yeah, nice beer. Um, so my rating then, um, I'm going to give this a six 
six out of ten. Um, so it's a free free caps on the old untapped. Um, over to untapped then. This is been around as I said the 18th of uh, September. It's had a total of 433 check-ins, 96 in the last 30 days, 370 actual ratings coming at 3.69, which yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. 4.5 uh, Citra dry hopped gives you that crushable tropical fruits and citrus. Uh, show more. All you could want in a 4.5 banger, followed with an ever so slightly bitter finish. Yeah. Nice beer. So that's two down. And the last one, which is a really kind of real interesting one for me. So this one is their Red Jungle Fowl. It's a raspberry, a raspberry and beetroot goes. 5% APV. Um, Halatau of the hops and then you've got Maris Otter, Lager Malt, Acidulated Malt, Wheat Malt. Uh, the yeast is US05, whether that's two or the same thing I don't know. Additions of raspberries, raspberry puree, coriander seeds, sea salt, beetroot powder. Allergens are barley and wheat, suitable for vegans. So there you go. Uh, best before the 13th of May of 2019. 440 mil can. And here we go. That's what it looks like. Um, it's actually not as red as I was expecting it to be with that combination of raspberries and beetroot. As you can see, coming out of the glass. Yeah, I was expecting it to be more sort of that colour on the can. But yeah, a really kind of like interesting sounding beer. Bit of carbonation there at the end, which is really cool. So, yeah, it's kind of a, a slightly muted, I mean it's hazy of course, but looking through the light, it, there is a bit of light coming through there. So a 5%, um, this is a Goza. They're saying on, on an untapped, yeah, a goza with beetroot and raspberries. You get more of the raspberries on the aroma for sure. But very muted. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, raspberries straight off the bat. Not, I mean, there's not much earthiness there. I was expecting from the beetroot, because I've had another, I've had a couple of beers with beetroot in, not this style, but um, Hefeweizen's about four or five years ago, review-wise. Yeah, go and check them out. It was like, in the first hundred reviews, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, um, and they were like, poor, really dry, but really, you know, they've got that beetroot thing going on, earthy. Not getting it with this. This is more kind of raspberry forward. And there's that little bit of kind of slight sour edge, sort of the final third of, of the actual flavour. Hmm. I love that saltiness at the back end though. Really nice, quite refreshing. I mean, it's still a lovely beer. It's more like a raspberry goza to me rather than any kind of beetroot or anything like that. Um, but it's super crushable for sure. Um, summer months, springtime. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see me drinking some of this for sure. I'd love to get some more of this. Um, I'll get more into this kind of style of beer as well. So, But yeah, lovely looking beer. And then, as you can see, with the red jungle fowl, Look in my eye, not around my eye, in my eye. Yeah, it's got that kind of uh, vibe to it. Obviously, red jungle fowl is native of South Asia, so and all that. I don't want to bore you with that. But yeah, I'll get one more sip. But it's very mellow. It's probably a good entry level sour, I'd say. It's not like one of them puckering ones or anything like that. There's a slight sea salty kind of vibe there, as I've already said. 
Yeah, nice beer. Um, for me then, in terms of a rating, I like this enough to give it a 7 out of 10, so a 3.5 on the untapped scale. Over to untap then, it's had 602 check-ins, 78 in the last 30 days. Um, 700, sorry, 479 ratings coming in at 3.6, so we're about right there. Um, this beer has been around since the 12th of February of 2018, so it's been around a little while this one, so yeah. I don't know how many batches they've done, but yeah, to me this beer has got more, I mean it's very strange to kind of describe this one, but I am really dig it, you know, it's, it's really nice, I, I like it a lot. So, they're the three beers we tried on Good Beer Live, reviewed, and I can try and get all these cans together, so there we go, there's, oh, there's the cans. So there we are. Thank you to our good friends at Honest Brew for the beers. Um, check out the brewery. Um, that's all I can say. Go and try them for, mis try them for yourself. They've got a tap room opening. Or open, should I say. I think it opened in December of 2018. So it's about two or three months old. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching then. Check out all the information down below with the coupon code and, and the brewery, of course. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.